Becoming the best suit tailor in Africa is one of his utmost ambitions. And having styled great celebrities like Banky W, Maomi, Naomi Campbell, and the likes, his classy, brandy, and perfection conscious designs continue to attract recognition from different corners. I'm talking of no other person than Oimai Atafu, the creative director of My Atafu Inspired. Yes, you are most welcome today to another episode of our series on Fashion Billionaires, exactly how they started. Yes, if you're yet to watch the previous episodes, kindly do that because you're going to find something that will help you on your ladder to greatness in this fashion world. I remain Joketo Luani Cetro, a fashion business coach, and today it's going to be splendid as we are considering my atafo. If you're yet to subscribe, please subscribe, like, and share. Grab a cup of coffee and let's go right into this discussion. Oimai Atafo, professionally known as Mai Atafo, is a Nigerian fashion tailor and the creative director of Mai Atafo Inspired. His journey and story is that of discovering, unleashing, and fully utilizing the creator's endowment in one's life. As a child, Born in Leife, Oshun State, Nigeria, on the 15th of November 1977, Mai Atafo started and teaching aprons from his elementary or primary schools. Then he graduated into stitching shirts and by using bedspreads in his secondary school to sourcing for fabrics for his friends in his university days. And in the process of doing this, he would discover various designs, eye-catching nice designs that he couldn't afford, which became the motivation for him to create them and adding to the fact that he had a unique body size for which he could hardly get a perfect fix. If he got something that suited his sleeve, they would be too massive for his bodies. And if he got the bodies right, the sleeve would be so short because he had long sleeves. So this became a motivation for him to design his clothes as well. Yes, let's pause and learn a lesson from here. This is what I actually term as turning your challenge into a wealth creation channel. Instead of complaining of that situation that is not right, uh, with you or in whatever you're doing, try to see how to solve that challenge and make something great out of it. Which was the same thing that my director here at Cetro Fashion did, which happens to be my husband, Dio Cetro. He, days back, working in the bank, he had challenge to date. His shoe size is very, <laughs> not just on the regular. So he took leave of abstinence, got into fashion, style, learning fashion, style, making his own shoes. And that was the motivation for Cetro Fashion. Before you knew it, he brought me into it. Let's start it. Let's do it this way. And because he has great insights uh, for fashion, he's always being behind the scenes, pushing me. We have to do it this way. This is how to do it. This is the next thing. And this is the next thing. And that's how to make it in this world of fashion. You turn your pain into your profits turning your pain into your profit. So you look at it that if I could get the solution or create the solution for this painful thing that I'm facing. So there will be several other persons that are facing this. Atafo actually wants to be known as the best suit tailor right here in Africa. And you know, he's seriously working towards that part. He's walking the talk. After completing his first degree, he went to the City University in the UK for a master's degree in information system and technology. And you will believe as he was studying, he was actually also exposing himself to 
more fashion in the UK. And so when he returns to Nigeria, he got his first job in the marketing department at British American Tobacco Nigeria, uh, where he worked for four years. And after four years, he moved to Guinness, Nigeria as a brand manager, which was where he actually returned back to his first love, which was fashion. He started by making Ashoke waistcoats for weddings for a couple of friends. And before you know it, uh, this just escalated. And so many other persons were interested in his unique coats. So the brides usually got their colors sorted out, but the guys could not afford to get a new purple or lilac ashoke, with which he designed wave coats for them and brought out something that really saved the day. And he had to specially order this purple and lilac ashoke, with which he designed the ashoke, and it looked good on the day, and people really loved the outcome. It did for a couple of other weddings, and that was just the beginning of my Atafo inspired. Before you know it, his clientele started expanding to include great celebrities like Banky W, Omar Me, um, Naomi Campbell, and the likes. And Atafo got a gig to style top celebrities and performers at the reality dance show Celebrity Takes Two. And this cemented his move into the fashion industry. Before you would know what was happening, by 2011, My Atafo Inspired introduced a wedding line called Weddings by Mine. He underwent trainings at Saviro Academy in Leeds in the UK to become a skilled tailor. And as a Saviro Academy certified tailor, he adhered strictly to the heritage of excellent craftsmanship, high quality materials, and classic designs, while adding a bit of African creativity to his work. So let's pause a bit and learn something from all of the above. So whatever your price point is, whether you are a mass market brand or a better brand or a contemporary brand or a designer brand, you have to be and give out what you really profess you are. You can't be given a bridge design or a bridge price point category design for a designer's uh, price. So whatever you say you want to give, you know, people are not stupid. So if you say this design is what $500, they're going to see the fabrics, the finishing, the packaging, everything and the story behind it. Is it really worth it? So you have to be a brand of your word and that is the core value of success, which is integrity. Whatever you say you're offering, make sure that is what you actually offer to your clientele or to your customers so i think with this we've learned one or two things today we could just keep talking about my atafo it's one different her words it's still doing very great and it's still in the forefront of the fashion industry today so i hope you've learned one or two things today if you want to make it as well in this fashion industry you have to start by discovering yourself discovering your strength and developing it for full utilization believing in yourself that you can and you will definitely make it and that's what i'm here to tell you today don't feel can i do it if he could do it you can do it and I know you're going to get to the top. So reach out, whatever is your opinion, whatever is your state. Are you starting or are you about starting or have you started and you're having challenges? Find it free to reach out to us in the comment section and let's discuss or reach out to us on the numbers showing below for us to go into further discussion and let me know the next designer you want me to be talking about. Yes. Till I come your way next time in the next episode. I remain Jacket, Tolu, and etc. Catch you. Love you. Bye bye.